Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing really well. So today, I will be telling you about that unfortunate day when an earthquake of magnitude 9 struck Japan. It was 11th of March 2011. Yes, I'm talking about Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. Such a high intensity earthquake triggered tsunami waves. Due to earthquake, there was no power at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. There were six reactors, one, two, and three were working perfectly, whereas fourth, fifth, and sixth reactor, they were under routine maintenance. So when the power was lost, emergency generators kicked in and the cooling system was working perfectly. But when the tsunami waves struck the plant, the generators stopped working as they were flooded with water. As a result, the cooling system stopped working, but nuclear reaction inside the reactor continued. Nuclear reaction generates heat to produce steam, which drives turbines. When the power cuts the water, which is used to prevent the system from overheating, stops. But the reaction continues. Due to the loss of coolant, reactor started overheating and the fuel rods started melting, which released huge amount of radioactive material. The radioactive material started releasing from the cracks of the reactor which might have appeared during earthquake. I must appreciate those plant officers as they used car batteries to power up their instruments. The moment they got a glimpse of what is happening inside the reactor, they knew that there is huge pressure build up. But without power, nothing could have been done. There was only one way to release that pressure, to open up the safety valves manually. But along with steam, there will be some radioactive material which will come out. But as a last resort, they had to do that. Pressure went down, but explosion occurred. What could have led to that explosion? Let's find out. The fuel rods are coated with zirconium metal and when zirconium reacts with steam, which is inside the reactor, it produces hydrogen. So for this reaction, the temperature requirement is around 2800 degree. Celsius. So what happened was the temperature was so high inside the reactor that zirconium reacted with steam and produced hydrogen and the hydrogen was released in huge amounts which caused the explosion. Other than the hydrogen buildup, there were some design flaws also. The plant was not designed to withstand tsunami. It was designed completely with the focus on earthquake and the earthquake which preceded the tsunami exceeded seismic design basis of the plant. So these were the two design flaws. Nuclear emergency was declared and almost 30,000 people were evacuated. Two weeks later, power restoration work started, but only robots could go near the reactors. It will still take a long time for a human to go near the reactor. Even after nine years, people are not allowed to live here and the reactors which were exploded are now encased in containment shields. So that was it. I will be telling you more about such industrial disasters which have happened over the years. So stay tuned for that and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.